Hello, everyone. So today we're going to be discussing what the Daily Mail has put out for content. They're talking about young people being left isolated and lonely during coronavirus. Lockdowns are being drawn to far-right terrorism, police say. Their bullet points are the amount of right-wing material flagged to investigators rose by 43%. And we can only caution them to be careful with those numbers because we have left-leaning terrorists, so to speak, that are flagging everything they see that's pro-Trump, pro-conservative, pro-Republican, or in general, right-wing. They fear that lonely young people isolated in pandemics are more likely to draw to terrorism. And we could actually kind of agree with that. We just want to know how you can differentiate if it's right-wing, left-wing, a religious terrorist, or otherwise. How do you know exactly, and even in this article, they don't admit what type of terrorist they really are when they say that they've arrested young terrorists. The last bullet point is the Counterterrorism Internet Referral Unit told about 3,000 pieces of suspected terrorist content this year. Number of referrals of right-wing content rose. Now, we know that the right-wing content is going to rise. You just had a Republican president. You just had a conservative president. You had a Senate that had majority, and you had Supreme Court justices that were nominated that had the same moniker as well, whether they vote that way or not. So, of course, the interest is there, and it has been for quite some time. As Trump said, he wouldn't have gotten office if these people would have done their job properly. But we're going to go ahead and read on to the article and we'll break it down a little bit as we go. Lonely young people left isolated during the pandemic are more likely to be drawn to terrorism, say police. They, now keep in mind it says just terrorism. The warning came after the amount of extreme right-wing material flagged up to investigators rose by 43%. Now, are you talking about investigators on YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter, or whatnot there? Or are you talking about actual police because you broke it down in two separate sentences as if they're not two of the same thing? And furthermore, right-wing material has been flagged more because you have left-leaning loons that flag everything they see as right-wing but the Counterterrorism Internet Referral Unit, CTIRU, has been told about 3,000 pieces of suspected terrorist content this year is up from 2,796 in 2019, an increase of about 7%. And they're worried over 7% of an increase, folks. I mean, that shows you the type of people that you're dealing with in the media that happen to be left-leaning. And this, make no mistake, is a left-leaning person making an article about right-leaning people. But the number of referrals of right-wing content rose from 134 last year to 192 between January and November 20 this year. Why are you trying to make right-leaning content illegal? Or not even evil, but terroristic? You're trying your best to make it a terroristic thing. You might as well say they're like praying to Satan while you're at it. And the number of under-18s arrested for terrorism offenses rose from 11 in the year ending September 2019 to 17 to 2020. Detective Chief Superintendent Kevin Southworth of the CTIRU, which is run by the Metropolitan Police, said the data indicates that one unforeseen consequence of the pandemic and lockdown restrictions could be that more young people are radicalized. Again, he didn't state preference. Quote, there has been a slight shift during the pandemic, which may reflect people being at home more and perhaps spending more time online, he said. So you mean people are actually being educated about the world around them and that radicalizes them? Is this not proof that people want other people dumbed down? I think this right here kind of explains the nature of the liberal bias. They really believe that it's best for the rest of the world to be dumbed down so that they can do what they want to do because they believe it's righteous. It's kind of funny this way. If someone comes out and gets red-pilled, that is definitely bad for them. They don't get to have you be 
a Democrat voter, a liberal ideologist, and everything is supposed to be free and given from the government, and you can just pay taxes and live in your social wonderland. There was one time where social endeavors didn't even cross the mind of government officials. They, they hardly even talked about it. They were worried about more about economy, more about infrastructure. And today everybody's worried about who's using what bathroom. And you're worried about right-wing people being terrorists. And we ask you, the last time we saw a right-wing terrorist was probably years ago. And we're not even sure that person with the stickers all over the van happened to be a terrorist. We, we don't even know that. It seemed very staged and no one got hurt. You had over 4,000 people show up in Virginia, armed to the teeth, and not a shot fired. And they had a protest. Do you assume the other side would act just as just in their riots, all armed to the teeth? We say that if there's any group out there right now that has terroristic tendencies, it's probably Antifa, it's probably BLM, it's probably the Democrat Party, because they're talking about abolishing police forces. They are against law and order. And you can say we're going to use social workers to clear up all this mess and that you're going to police yourself because all of that works so well it can't be abused or usurped. No one can take things into their own hands and make a militia, right? There's no such things as gangs and clans, right? Let me tell you, if you want to be on the side of abolish police, understand that they are the only people that are stopping the Klan from roaming the street right now. They aren't the Klan, but they are stopping those people from being on the street hurting you. And when people get online, they learn about these things. And it's not being radicalized, it's being red-pilled. It's a difference. However, we don't condone any kind of terrorism. We don't think it's right what BLM and Antifa did when they went door-to-door -door businesses and burned them down, burned down churches, hurt people. We don't agree with any of those things. If you want to protest, if you want to riot and rally, then do it where you're not hurting people. Do it where you're not killing business owners that are just trying to protect their business. Do it to where mothers with children aren't being shot, all because they said all lives matter. This what we're talking about here is radicalization. When you're shooting people for saying all lives matter. That's the group we're talking about here, folks. They're mad when you say everyone's life matters. But we read on to the article. Perhaps in some instances, sadly, people who have less people to speak to are perhaps recoursing to online media for greater quantities of their time because they've been stuck in self-isolation or lacking people to come into contact with. So you're saying they're basically losers, they don't have any friends, and then they basically are seeing a group of people that get together and they like each other. So you mean they joined a group? They joined a gang? I mean, we could make all kinds of different connotations, different words for what this is. But you call them terrorists. You're trying to call conservative right-wing ideology terrorism. A website and helpline called Act Early has been set up to encourage adults to report signs of young people at risk of being radicalized. Is that what this is? Is Act Early, are they going after people for being radicalized or are they going after young people because they're being conservative, they're being Republican? Because what's the difference, right? In their mind, being a follower of Trump means that you're a Klan member or that you're some type of Nazi. To them, they think the worst of you. So it's just saying, I like Trump or Trump 2020. Is that radicalized? Is that a radical statement? To some, yeah, it is because they are hurtful. They're whiny little babies. It hurts them to hear anything they don't want to hear. And just like any other censorship that we've been having on all these social media platforms, they'd rather censor you than hear the truth. They'd rather censor you than allow you to speak any kind of words to just your audience who happen to agree with you. If there's nothing to hide, if there's nothing wrong with what they're doing, then there should be nothing wrong with what you're doing. Anyway, we continue on to the article. 
the CTIRU published a blog by one of its surgeons identified only as Paul on Monday who warned parents that their children may be viewing terrorist material online during the Christmas break. AKA, we're warning Democrat parents that your kids could possibly be reading conservative news, that they could be reading Trump propaganda, right? That's what this is really about. He wrote, quote, it would be misguided to think that the youngsters finding terrorist propaganda online and being sucked in by its eye-catching graphics and false promises of martyrdom are archetypical terrorist suspects. So anybody who goes out and reads conservative Republican media, they are responsible, the people who come out and give you content, people like me are supposedly responsible. No one else is responsible for their actions but the people who are putting out content. So is CNN responsible for their content because they put a lot of nonsense out that is very much left-leaning terrorism. They support abolishment of police. Even after their own headquarters was ransacked twice by the same BLM people, by the same Antifa groups. Nobody should be in jail for a nonviolent crime. But these people are left alone and they have no terroristic tendencies. Even when their own journalists come out as ex-journalists for CNN and say that they're lying through their teeth. Quote, they're not, and they vary by gender and ethnic background. Some are high achievers at school, others not so. Some are from impoverished backgrounds, others are more fortunate. Their sons, their daughters, their siblings and friends, possibly yours, though you may not like to think it. Although you might not like to think it, geez. So if you don't even believe in the liberal ideology you just want to disown your family? Oh my goodness, this is the kind of thing that these guys talk like. It's crazy. Between January 1st of 2019 and June 30th, 2020, around 1,500 children aged 15 and under were identified at being at risk of radicalization as part of the government prevent scheme. Mr. Southward said, There's perhaps a challenge that young people face in the modern age that we didn't face when we were younger. What do you mean? The brainwashing of Republicans? The Democrats have been doing brainwashing for four years now. They've been doing it to anyone that happened to be 16 when this all started. Maybe 14 when this all started. And now they're 18, 20 years old, and they're able to vote. And you gave them four years of Democrat-led media propaganda, terrorism, brainwashing. That's what you did. But you won't call it that way. You won't say, hey... We went out and brainwashed all of you. Everything we said and did was biased as hell, and we don't even know why you guys couldn't pick up on it. It's ironic that the Trump people are the only ones that could pick up on this horrible thing that we did to you. We can't believe you guys are so silly. But we read under the article, We are in the digital age now where everyone has access to copious quantities of open source material. And if you are a youngster in the middle of a global pandemic like this who's spending a long time online, perhaps with less human contact than you might normally enjoy, especially if you're someone who has any other underlying vulnerability or perhaps a mental health illness, then there's always the chance that you may draw to extreme material. So again, if you like any conservative Republican media outlets or any right-wing material, folks, in the government you have right and left-wing policies. They actually say that's like the two wings of the eagle. That's the point of the whole idea. You have the left-wing and the right-wing ideologies. And right now you have Democrats trying to get rid of the Republican ideologies. They're trying to destroy you Republicans. And simultaneously, you have the media coming out and they're trying to say that anything right-wing, anything, it's not terrorism if you believe in some right-wing policies, but they would like you to believe that. If you support any right-wing anything, then all of a sudden they can label you a terrorist? Is that what America has came to? Are we not allowed to talk? Because we can't talk about election Fs. We can't talk about the World Health Organization. We're not allowed to say a lot of these things on YouTube or even other social media platforms. We've had our freedom of speech revoked. And if they can't get you on terrorism charges, 
they'd like to say that you have mental illnesses. And this is coming from the same ideologues that were talking all this nonsense before even the Democrat election, even before the Democrat primaries. They were talking about putting people of right-wing status or their ideologies in gulags. Just keep in mind, all these Democrats talking about a coup. Trump is staging a coup. He's trying to fix the election in his favor by fighting the election. Keep in mind when you say that, they are going after the other side. Forget Trump running around saying he's going to lock her up. They're talking about getting rid of everyone that doesn't agree with them. And children are very much at risk for terrorism. We actually agree with that sort of thing. We think making them stuck at home, we think making them have to stare at a screen all day long is part of a risk that you Democrats have put out there for all of us. And the unforeseen side effect in this article, as they state, is that they're not being blue-pilled. They're being red-pilled. They're seeing reality for what it is because before they were completely too busy to realize that this was going on, just like a lot of us. But we implore everyone, don't be any kind of terrorist. Don't go out and try to hurt anyone. Make your point in a peaceful manner. Sometimes you would like to be violent and have an uproar, but that only makes you like them. Anyway, folks, you guys have a wonderful afternoon, a good morning, a good night, whichever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that around here. Also, drop a comment down below. We like to talk with you. We like to pick your brain. And if you have any ideas for new videos, go ahead and drop a line down below. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell, we might have a problem sending our videos to you. God bless each and every one of you. See ya.